Happy weekend, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army. Another day, another manifestation of fear in the market. And as far as I can tell, for no good reason, there's not a whole lot happening in the way of news. We'll take a look at a couple of headlines, but really today, I just wanted to come on and create a short video since this is our last giveaway for $50 worth of ETH. We're awarding a winner from yesterday's video. And this will be the last giveaway that we do for a little while. I think we're gonna resume the $50, whether it's Ethereum or something else. We'll resume some kind of a giveaway in the future, but putting a pause on it for now, Unfortunately, we're in a climate of fear. Yet again, as you can see, we're on that spectrum between fear and greed. We're still measuring at extreme fear. We're actually more fearful than we were yesterday, than we were last week, and than we were last month. Why exactly? With all this news that we've been covering, with news out of Central America especially, and other positives, Taproot, it's something we never even discussed, is also starting to really take shape very nicely. A lot of positive Ethereum news that people seem to be neglecting. And it's just unfortunate. You know, every day, these last few days, we wake up to a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent double digit, in some cases, price slip across the board, led by Bitcoin, which is at $31.5 thousand dollars right now. It's down in the last hour. It's down in the last day. It's down, of course, in the last week. Some may say that it's stabilizing a little bit here so far. Earlier this morning, we retested $30,000 and so far have stayed above that support zone. But let's see what happens. Others will say that we're following the Wyckoff distribution to a T, and now we are testing the lower support zones. Again, we're establishing higher lows before springing back up in phases C and D. That's possible. Um, and without offering any financial advice, just my, my commentary on kind of the macro situation, not even the macro situation, but looking at all these different projects, even individually, it's just this, it doesn't make much sense to me. But that's the thing about this space, right? And the reminder is that the market, even if you do feel is being completely irrational, all right, but you gotta respect it because that market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. There are a couple of different stories that are you know, not exactly positive that may be fueling this to a certain extent here on coindesk.com. The US Fed official calls Tether a so-called challenge to the financial system and its stability. Eric Rosengren included the stable coin among what he termed new disruptors to short-term credit markets. I think that uh, that's kind of ironic. I feel the US dollar is a challenge to financial stability, at least in the long term, at least once it begins to unravel. And I think we're already seeing the beginnings of that. But that's really, to be honest, all the negative news I was able to find on Cointelegraph.com. Colombian Capital supports blockchain and emerging tech with $2.3 million fund. Blockchain development is one of four major programs in Bogota's new tech innovation fund. So Colombia kind of heating up, warming up even further to the idea here of Bitcoin and blockchain. We have, of course, the El Salvador news that I'm not going to rehash developments and kind of progress toward that El Salvador status from Panama and from Paraguay. We also talked about, I think it was in yesterday's video, we talked about Andreessen Horowitz, which is by some accounts really the most successful venture capital and investment firm in the world. They're allocating $2.2 billion to a cryptocurrency fund. They're wildly optimistic about the space and they say it's going to impact and basically basically kind of just reconstruct not only every aspect of finance, but every element of our lives. That's what they said about crypto. And yet here we are again, down two, three, four percent on the day. We also have this news again that we've never even discussed on this channel. Bitcoin taproot, not for the most part anyways, Bitcoin taproot locked in to improve privacy and introduce smart contracts. The Bitcoin taproot upgrade will activate later in 2021 as developers urge to create applications that will leverage its advantages. And yet here we are, once again, showing extreme fear. Now, this is not financial advice, but just, you know, maybe indulge me for a moment, a half minute, some philosophical musings here. I really do firmly believe that this fear shall pass and 
just, you know, before you know it, we're going to be at 30, 40, 50 on this scale. We'll get to 90, probably 95. We'll be getting into extreme greed territory because the sentiment right now that is characterizing this irrational sell-off is not representative, in my opinion, of the long-term positives, not this article, let's skip this article, but it's not that fear that you know, that skittishness, it's not representative of these long-term plays and these entrants that are getting into the market and this positive news that's going to be around for months and years and probably decades to come. So as I like to say, when in doubt, zoom out, not financial advice, but whatever it is, whatever it is that's kind of, that's that's just, I mean, it's sending us into this craze right now of uncertainty, of insecurity, and of fear. I do firmly believe that's going to pass. And when it does, and when that you know, needle starts to tilt the other way, I really do think that all of these positives are going to become more entrenched. And these are the things that are going to be around for the long haul. Just let me know what your thoughts about that, guys, are. That is my point of view. It is not financial advice. It's how I like to picture things right now. Whether or not you're buying up the dip, that's up to you. But um, I think it's a good opportunity to do so, not financial advice. With that being said, short video, just wanted to highlight and honestly talk about the state of the market today. Let's go ahead and take a look at yesterday's video. So we're now giving away our last $50 worth of Ethereum, at least for the time being, we'll probably resume some of these contests in the future. Uh, as a reminder, in order to be eligible, you have to like the video, you have to subscribe to the channel, Altcoin Buzz News, and you have to comment in the case of this contest with the letters ETH, ETH, or the word Ethereum. 761 comments from yesterday's video. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL. And as long as you're not a previous winner, of course, because I have a master list and I've tried my best not to duplicate winners. It hasn't been a problem so far, but uh, you never know. As long as you meet those criteria and you're not a previous winner, the winner for today and our last winner for the time being, Andrew E. Mastin. Thanks for the information, dude. Ethereum. Andrew, you're very welcome, my man. Please go back to yesterday's video, find your comments, so this one in particular, and reply to your own comment with this same Andrew E. Mastin YouTube profile. Reply to your own comment with the Ethereum address to which you would like us to send you $50 worth of Ether. So congratulations, Andrew, for at least you know the time being, being the last winner. Again, guys, we're gonna resume the contest at some point in the future, but that is it for now. It's, uh, it's even raining where I am. I'm kind of, well, you guys know where I am. I'm in Quebec, I'm in Canada. And the kind of, the outdoor climate, the outdoor atmosphere sort of matches the state of the market right now. Not financial advice, but when in doubt, zoom out. This too shall pass because at least in my opinion, this is unsustainable. This doesn't make any sense. Just my two cents, this doesn't make any sense. There you have it. Do be sure to keep following us on all the regular social media channels. Keep checking back to our website, altcoinbuzz.io, for all the latest. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell to receive notifications if you guys enjoyed today's video. Best of luck, of course, if you do choose to invest on this weekend. Not that this is financial advice. Stay safe, everybody. Check out these videos that are popping up above my head if you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to stay up to speed with our latest publications. And as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.